Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. I want us to go back to the book of Mark today and look at the anointing of Jesus at Bethany when he's anointed for his burial. It's one of the most intriguing, frustrating, irritating, but real-life stories in all of the gospel. Here Jesus is about to die on behalf of their sins. And Judas, because he's a thief and he wants to get a hold of the money, stirs up the attitudes of the other disciples. And Jesus is criticized for the beautiful gift that only means something to him. But I'd like us to look at the other side of that story today. I want you to notice in verse 5. It could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. They didn't just criticize Jesus. They rebuked the giver. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She's done a beautiful thing to me. And now look down at verse 9. I tell you the truth, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. One of the strangest things that you see in life is that the spirit of Judas, people who are thieves, people who steal the tithe from God, people who are actually stealing in church, connect group leaders that are stealing the offerings, businessmen that are, are stealing the tithe, businessmen that, forgive me, are even stealing seed that God gave them to sow to bless them. When you find a person has an attitude of a thief, you'll find that not only are they critical of people being blessed, they are also critical of generosity. Thieves are critical of generosity. Let me say that again. Thieves are critical of of generosity. Now, now sometimes it, it amazes you when you want to be a blessing to somebody and you want to give to something and you have relatives who are critical because they wanted the money just like Judas. You have other people that are critical because they wanted the money just like Judas. Ju Judas wasn't critical because he wanted to feed the poor. Jesus was very clear in the other gospels that he was a thief. Now you need to understand that when you are criticized for your generosity, First of all, I never trust people who criticize my generosity because they just showed me their spirit of Judas. But secondly, I don't care what they think because God will never allow generosity to go unnoticed. He said that, woman, wherever the gospel is preached for the rest of eternity, the story of what you have done will be told. Now, it's fascinating to me that these men came and were so harsh to her and were so mean to her. And then Jesus said, little lady, your generosity will be spoken of for all eternity, wherever the gospel is preached. When your generosity is criticized, when, when people look at you and really rip you up because you were generous, you were, you were giving to somebody. You were giving to the work of God. You were building the house of God. You were feeding the poor. When people get in your face about all that, just kind of smile and go, number one, I'm never going to trust you because you just showed me that you have the spirit of Judas. And number two, God will make sure that your generosity is noticed for all eternity.